We have new details on a police chase that started in Mississippi and went through a popular shopping center on the North Shore. Three people, one of them from Louisiana, are in the Slidell City Jail tonight because of it. Mike McDaniel explains what happened and he even spoke to a witness about what happened that day. A busy day at Primo Town Center in Slidell Thursday evening ended with a police chase, damaged cop cars and three people in jail. It was a lot of cops last night. There was a lot. Daniel Susano with the Slidell Police Department says it all started when officers from Hancock County, Mississippi started chasing a stolen car. With the chase crossing into Louisiana, Slidell officers posted up at all the exit ramps and twin spans. We had a very busy interchange here in Slidell with the I-59, I-10, I-12 interchange. So we, you know, we deal with this kind of stuff all the time. The driver of the stolen car, 21-year-old Matthias Newell of Marrero, got off Interstate 10 at the Fremo Avenue exit, leading officers on a chase through the shopping center. They passed right, literally right in front of me, and there was another car trying to get out the way. And as he's coming around the corner, he hit the back of the other car. Lacey Quincy watched it happen. I couldn't process it first. And then once I realized what was going on, I told my, my five-year-old, look down. Um, because it was just so much going on, and I was scared for her to see something that she shouldn't have seen. Twice, officers were able to stop the car. But Susano says Newell rammed their patrol cars to get away. That obviously escalated this to a much bigger level than just a normal vehicle pursuit when they start, you start ramming police vehicles. Newell eventually gave up when he got to Old Spanish Trail. He, along with passengers 18-year-old Bailey Weaver and 30-year-old Brandon Duke, both from Alabama, were arrested. These guys are obviously from out of town, right? So they don't, they, they came to the wrong city when they, when they drove into Slidell. Luckily, no one was hurt. And Susano says the chase coming to an end in Slidell doesn't mean a lack of safety in the city, but rather the opposite. This obviously came from a totally different state. It just happened to spill into our city. All three suspects face stolen property and drug charges. Newell, the driver, has a much longer list, including two counts of aggravated assault on a police officer with a motor vehicle. Our judges and prosecutors here in St. Tammany Parish will ensure that they receive jail time for this incident. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And officers say all three people were arrested without incident and will be taken to the St. Tammany Parish Jail.